Morning the Vampire will be back tomorrow here on CBBC. But this afternoon we've got a brand new show. It's called Tracy Bigger. And here is the star. It's Danielle Harmer. How are you, Danielle? I'm fine, thank you. Excellent. Now, for the viewers at home who haven't seen Tracy Bigger before, tell us a little bit about it. Well, Tracy Beaker is about a mischief um, person who lives in a foster home and she gets up to so much mischief she cause havoc all over the place. Right, now are you very different to Tracy? Um, I hope so anyway. Yeah, what, what do you like doing in your spare time? Um, I like dancing a lot. Mm -hmm. What sort of dance? Um, jazz dancing. Yeah, now what's the best thing about acting as a different person? Um, it's probably because I get to throw loads of tantrums and get to be really nasty. Yeah, excellent. Do you have good fun when you're filming? Do you get with the rest of the cast? Wicked, yeah. Excellent, okay, you're going to stick around, aren't you? Yep. Excellent, make sure you do too. Top tips from S Club. Great. Rule one, get your own way. Not, would you like to come to our show on Saturday? You don't have a performance license. Rule two, know where you're going. Not, surprised to be we lost then. Rule three, know what day it is. Not, it's Tina's birthday not. today. Breaking all the rules in Viva S Club, Tuesday at 4.30, CBBC on BBC One. <laughs> Don't miss Viva S Club on Tuesday at 4.30. Now, Danielle, you're going to be sticking around, aren't you? Yep, After Tracy right. Beaker, we'll be having another yep. chat with you. Now, if you've got any questions that you want to get in for Danielle, do get them into us at cbbc at bbc.co.uk. That's cbbc at bbc.co.uk. And we'll be chatting to Danielle a little bit later on. But right now, if you'd like to introduce the new brand new programme, go on. Here is the story of Tracy Beaker. You better watch it. Hey! <laughs> Peter, if I'm not back in half an hour, I'll call International Rescue. Tracy, Tracy, wait! Do you not want to hear the Michael Milligan Children's Home welcome speech? Not the way you say it, your pants. Well, hang on! Mike, someone's put their stuff in my room. Look, uh, Tracy, you've been gone for three months. We thought you'd left us for good this time. This is my room! Whoever's in it can pack up that scratching stuff and clear off right now! Sorry, chicken. I can't do that. No! I didn't know Tracy Beaker was coming back! We feel terrible about bringing her back. If I'd known I was pregnant, we'd never have... I mean... We've given up hope of me ever. Tracy's a bit of a handful. But we'd love to keep in touch. I'm sorry, but Tracy's going to need time to adjust. It'll be her decision. It's got the round window. People pay extra for that, you know. My old room's better. I'm sorry I didn't walk out with Ted and Julie. Better look next time, eh? If you want me to have better luck, Mike, you should foster me yourself. <laughs> you get paid and I'd be worth extra. Because I'm difficult and I've got behavioural problems. You'll probably get so much cash you could give up work and stay home all day eating chocolates. Oh, go on, we'd have a laugh. Going on journeys, having adventures. Just us, together. I'm sure we would, but it's not really on now, is it? Sorry, kiddo. You didn't think I was serious, did you? Ugh, I wouldn't want people think he had such a tragic foster dad. Don't think you can get round me with flattery, Tracy Beaker. Listen, I'll leave you to get yourself sorted out, right? Aren't you going to go see Tracy? 
She hasn't spoken to me since the day she left. Can't see why she want to do it now. Who's Tracy? Just some kid who used to live here. Louise, she was your best friend. She's not anymore. Dean, can I have a word, please? Hello. Tracy's upstairs. Can I say hello? Why does everyone keep on going on about Tracy? Sorry? He's I coming. thought you two were mates. So did I, until she left and forgot all about me. Oh. Louise! My dad's coming to take me out for tea. Come and help me choose what to wear. Justine, she's in your old room. Thought you said you were leaving forever. Ted and Julie only wanted me as a slave for their new baby, so I made them bring me back. Didn't they mind? They were gutted. <laughs> there were tears <laughs> sobbing the works. They even tried to bribe me with presents. I couldn't stay with adults who begged. I'm sorry, Tracy. We can't foster you anymore. You're taking me back to the dumping ground. That's not fair. I got here first. Let's see the presents then. Haven't unpacked them yet. I'm waiting for her to move out so I can move back in again. I'm not budging. This is my room now. Oh no! My clock! Grace needs to be cut! I am going to kill her! For less than an hour. She didn't hang about. Her dad gave her that. What am I going to tell him when he turns up? Justine, calm down. I've got to have a word with Tracy. I'll have her for this. Can you fix this? I need it by this afternoon. Is it just the ants? Yeah. No problem. Yeah. My brother does the business. How did it happen? It was Tracy Beaker. Look, first one's on the ass. Thanks. No, no sign of her upstairs, Duke. She's not down here. Right, I'd better find a social worker. No, Jenny, easy. Come on, Tracy's upset enough already without having to face Elaine the pain. Let me take the minivan and have a scout about. She's probably just sitting out somewhere. Mm. What do you care? Kids on the street got to look out for each other. You're on the streets then? Looks like it, doesn't it? I'm Ben. Ben Bamboos. Tracy Beaker. Where'd you get all that? What do you care? Come on, Tracy. Where are you? Did someone lock you up and throw away the chocolate? Yeah, something like that. I'm hardly ever allowed out. I'm a computer genius. I come up with new games worth millions. I'm so important. I have to have round the clock protection for minders in case I'm kidnapped. I like to get away every so often and just pretend I am a normal kid. Ah. Uh -uh. Don't even think about it, Tracy. Come on. Come on. She doesn't have to. I'm afraid she does. Don't worry, he's one of my minders. <laughs> I'm big, I'm mean, I'm a muscle machine. Oh, you had to ruin it. Thanks for the chocolate. See you around, Beaker. Uh, 
Back upstairs. No, I can't give that Tracy Beaker a good slap. Upstairs. Leave it, Justine. Tracy, I don't think we've said a proper hello yet, have we? Shall we do it in my office? That's one of those grown-up questions where the kid's not supposed to answer. Right. Screwdriver. Has he nearly finished yet? <gasps> what are you doing? Dad will be here soon. <sighs> Sorry, you're going to have to wait outside. <sighs> And I do understand how hard it is having to come back, but you're just going to have to try and settle in again, Tracy. And I really think it would help if you apologised to Justine. I never broke her stupid clock. Ah, so you know it's about a clock. Justine's dad gave that to her. Imagine how you'd feel if someone had broken something your mum had given you. <sighs> Ryan, you rock. What? I apologised, didn't I? Enough to make grown men tremble three streets away. Now you're going to apologise and you're going to do it so that everybody knows that you mean it. Don't worry, he probably just missed his train. Who's she waiting for? Her dad. I used to spend hours here waiting for my mum. But then I realised she loves the sun so much, she must have gone to Spain. But I never got a postcard. So then I knew. She was in Hollywood! She's so beautiful, my mum. I know she's been snapped up to make movies. Your mum's never an actress in Hollywood. Well, why else wouldn't you come and visit me? My dad is coming. He said so. Well, so did my mum. Have you been winding her up? Cheering her up, actually. He's here! Oh, hi, Steve. Dad! <laughs> Only because Justine's gone off with her dad and you're stuck for something to do. You think you're so clever, Tracy Beaker. But you're not. And you're not nice either. Or those foster parents wouldn't have dumped you back here. I asked to be brought back. You were just such a big fat liar. Stop it! Stop it, Lenador! Stop it! She called me a liar! You are! You're always telling lies! That's enough, Louise! Especially about your precious mother. Always saying how she's coming to get you. She hasn't been yet, has she? Go to your room now. Not like Justine. She's got a real dad, one who visits. I bet your mum never will! Hello? You can come out now. Duke has saved you some tea. And Jenny says to remind you that you still haven't apologised to Justine properly yet. Haven't I been punished enough? Let's try to kid her. Aren't you coming out? In a minute. Don't see why she made a fuss. He's nothing special. Brother have a dad like that. We visited the non at all. Are you crying? Bug off, Breed. Tracy Beacon never cries. It's the dumping ground dust. Gets my hay fever. Welcome back, Tracy Beaker. It's like I've never been away. 
Tracy Bigger will be back next week here on CBBC on One. And Danielle, who plays Tracy, is still joining us. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Excellent. Now, what can we expect in next week's show? Um, you can expect there's um, a dare competition between yeah. Justine and Tracy to right. try and get Tracy's room back. Oh, and what about the rest of the series? A um, lot more fights, a lot more arguments, and loads more mischief. Brilliant. Now, I've had an email here from Sophie in Manchester, and she says, whose hair do you prefer, yours or Tracy's? Hmm, I think it's got to be mine, I'm afraid. Yeah? yeah. All right, excellent. <laughs> we will be watching the series. Thanks for coming in, and make sure you do come back, OK? Yeah, I will. Make sure you don't miss next week's Tracy Bigger, and make sure you don't miss this. When a lightning knight meets one boy in the sixth dimension, their destinies are linked forever. As the game goes on, their combined strength is the only weapon in the battle against all the evil. My superpowers are gone. Is this what you're looking for? Nice work, kid. Ace Lightning. Nothing beats the power of friendship. Monday, 4.30, CBBC on BBC One. I'll be back. Still to come this afternoon, the World Bomb Breeze is coming up in just a few minutes, but Call the Shorts has moved to the new slot of Friday mornings or you can catch it Sundays after Smile. And this is what you can expect to see on this week's show. On the next Call the Shots, I'm off to Barcelona in Spain to hook up with s -Dub on the set of their new TV series. I prize open the Disney vaults in LA and Paris to explore the history of animation. Plus we profile sexy one lady Halle Berry. Call, Call the, the Shots, Shots your, your expert guide, guide to the, the movies. movies. And if you entered last week's Bond competition, stick with us this afternoon because we are going to be announcing this week's winner. Now, up next is the World Bunburys. I've just got time to quickly show you this. It's a picture that's been sent in by Annie Reynolds, who's age 12, and she's from Loch Gilpid in Scotland. Thanks so much for Annie. that for Annie. She's absolutely wicked. Right now, it's time for the World Bunburys, and it's all about a giant... And there he sits in all his hard-shelled glory, lonesome Jake, the last of his species... Ta-ta, Jake. When you are gone, there shall be no more. And cut! That's a take. Excuse me? But what happened to all the other tortoises like Lonesome Jake? 